Welcome to Mornings with Mr. Coulton. Morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, Mornings with Mr. Coulton. It's a little noisy outside. Uh, I'm at the school and we've got some road activity going on. Um, but I just dropped by to check on the compost and get that started for the spring. It should be all completely thawed and ready to, ready to start working. Uh, I came over just to turn it around because we had a lot of uh, pile up from the fall and then it kind of froze so we have kind of it's not completely mixed up and I'm just gonna mix it up really good open it up to the rain so that you get a lot of water in it as well because the best two things that you want about a composter is you want a lot of mass and brown mass as well we'll talk about that but you also want uh, moisture in there because that helps the bacteria and everything start going and all the worms love it so today all I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna toss it around and tell you kind of what to put in your composter and if you want to do this at home, uh, it's really easy to set up. You don't need these nice black things. They're great because they heat up a little bit more because they're black in the summer and heat helps everything work as well. But you can use any bin you want really. Just the, it's all about the stages and keeping it, uh, don't overwhelm it and keeping it working. So just to check at what it's looking like right now, uh, one of them is actually doing pretty good. That one just needs to be turned around. It's got some moisture in it. It's had some rain already because it's been open. This one is also doing pretty good. You can see some stuff on top that we have to kind of mix there into the middle. You never want to just kind of sit it on top. It'll just dry out and really not do anything. You want to mix it in with uh, a few leaves, which is what we call browns. And, uh, and these are what we call the greens and, and it's all the fresh stuff like fruit and stuff. Schools will have a lot of banana peels. They'll have a lot of orange peels and they'll have a lot of apples. That's just the, what you're going to get. So you want to add leaves along with it so that it just doesn't turn into a big bit of mush. And also orange peels and banana peels do take this time to really break down. And so you want to make sure that they're in the middle, wet, it's where all the bacteria can kind of get to them. And then this one really needs to be turned around. It's been a lot of people threw some soup and some other stuff in there which isn't terrible. Uh, but you don't want a lot of um, elements that aren't just natural. You want fruits, vegetables, you don't want any meats, you don't want any dairy, and you don't want anything extra like sugars and salts and, and chemicals and things. It's just not great for your compost. So, uh, But it's not going to kill it. We're just going to turn that around and get that all mixed in, add a few uh, dead leaves that are around here, which is your perfect browns. And in springtime it's the best because there's a lot of leaves. So if you're doing some raking, you might want to actually save a bag of leaves for your compost as you go through the summer. Before you start turning it around, it's a good idea to add some browns on top of this. We have a lot of greens and a lot of fruits and it's going to get really mushy in there. So we want to bring in a lot of the same material that would be in a forest because basically what we're doing just we're kind of being like the forest floor. On the forest floor every fall all the leaves fall and they pile up and all the fruit falls as well and it rots on the ground and then more leaves go over top of that that layering and that mixture makes the soil of the forest floor incredibly fertile lots of nutrients you want to get right down to the bottom and bring up that already good compost to kind of mix it in because it's got all the bacteria and all the worms and all the good stuff that's gonna turn this into wonderful compost, which is just nutrient-rich humus, like the humus of a forest floor. You're gonna get all sorts of stuff in here. You wanna keep out any plastic, and you wanna keep out any, if you don't want pests, you don't wanna put in things like rice or bread, because that'll attract mice, and you really don't want that. Not if you're, if it's, especially if it's a home one. There we go. Dig right in there. Take out any plastics that you find. You also want to break up any big chunks. If you have like full apple cores, full bananas, you want to break them up because the smaller the pieces, the better. Then the microbes can get to them, larger surface area. There we go. 
So this one has a lot of fresh stuff. So it's gonna take a little while. We're gonna leave it open. So if the rain hits it and we get some nice water in there, now we're just gonna let that one go. I would show you the rest of them, but it's exactly the same thing. This was the worst. Probably if I was doing it at home, I would fill in one first and then get it all going and you can leave it for a while. And then you'd kind of move on and you start filling the other ones. A hot summer will really uh, turn this into amazing compost that you can put on top of any garden soil and it really helps your plants grow. If you're gonna do composters yourself, it is good. You can either keep them closed and then add water as you go uh, just to keep them moist or open them up to the rain once in a while. Just make sure that after it does stop raining uh, that you want to cover them up again. You want, on a hot day, you want the sun beating down on these things and it closed off so that all the microbes just start working and it doesn't start drying out from being open. And uh, But heats up really good, kind of like a a little spa in there. I'm gonna go home because it's raining right now. Happy Friday, have a great weekend, and we'll see you guys on Monday. Mornings with Mr. Coulton.